Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're, we're going to play Inscription. Uh, please consider subscribe and leaving a like to show your support on the channel. Without further ado, let's begin. Daniel Mullins Games Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. What? Uh huh. So it's booting up, and it's booting up the game. That's interesting. Right. Wait, you can't. You can't play new game. You can only continue. Well, but I've never played this game before. Let's begin, I guess. Okay, it's loaded. Whoa, can I move? Can I use? Oh, hello there. <laughs> it's creepy. Hello! Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played, but I've never played this game before. Allow me to remind you. Ah, that's right. So we're in a tutorial. Play the squirrel card. Oh, so got a wolf? Got a stoat? Now play your stoat. How do I- oh. Stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. So, oh, the, the symbol, blood, the blood symbol right here, resembles how much creatures you must sacrifice to summon, I guess. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. See, so the blood. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. The stone stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Right, so the right one is the health. Your stone dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Okay, so... How many health does he have? Like, four more? His turn. Your stone stands in the way of my coyote. Ah, see, so it's the health. Oh, it doesn't die immediately, right. My coyote deal dealt two damage to your stone. That means your toad's health is two less, right. So we can, we can kill the coyote then, right, next turn. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Yeah, right, okay. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Okay, so I don't know what my deck my last card my deck is. Because I think it's random, right? Or I can guarantee draw a squirrel. I'ma play it safe. How dull. Hey, how dare you? Right. I'll summon the wolf there because it's stronger. No, but but the stone can kill the coyote anyway. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. Yeah, I know that. I think. <laughs> right. Another squirrel then. So we can summon the wolf without killing the stove. Right, let's go. Wolf demands two sacrifices. Oh look! Look at the squirrel, they're, they're, they're scared, they're shaking. <laughs> look, look, when I, when I don't, they're, they're fine, but when I try to sacrifice, they're, they're like scared. They're shaking. Right, okay. Summon the wolf right here. <clears throat> Commence. Yeah, we won. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Oh, I'm sure they won't be. 
Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this! We were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Alright, so I... Oh, the music. Alright. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal, right? The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your wild tree deck. Right, so one is like... Well, what is this? Right click. Oh, the rule book. Touch of death. When a card bear is sealed, damages another creature, that creature perishes. So this is... Many lives. When a card bear is sealed, it sacrificed, it does not perish. I'm gonna take the adder, because it, it can kill anything, right? Yes, right. Let's take the adder. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow. What does that mean? Right. Let's move on. A rock sack. Came across an abandoned site. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. <laughs> Alright. And have a second. Thank you. Another useful implement. I allows you to tip the scales with it. Huh. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay, so three is the max items I can carry, I guess. Right. I'm guessing this is a bell, right? We were ambushed by while crossing some rough terrain. What? Attacked by the three? By the tree or something? Stump? Whoa! What? He, sp he spoke too fast. What? Wait, I think there's a dialogue speed in the settings, right? Oh yeah, slow that down. Yeah, maybe three is fine. Right. He said something about like not sacrificing him. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Right. Wait along for now. Wait, so he can talk? Who's 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 like who's not awake before? Who's his eyes was closed. So, river Oh, so the other, other card in our deck was River Sniper then, right? Wolf Cup. What is this? Fledgling. A card bearing this deal will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. Alright. So, can I use the. You are lacking sacrifice for that thought, but you do have a squirrel. So, you can't sacrifice the boulder. Here, I remind you, your items may help. I'm just gonna summon the stoat then. Right, right here, right? So it can attack. Oh no. What is that? Mind the ambitious wolf cup. He swiftly. Right, we, we read about that. Take another squirrel. Whoa! Transform to the wolf. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, so it ignores the stone and... Oh, okay. Ha! My bat flew right over your stone. Yeah, I'm gonna still beat you though. Right. Still gonna make, take another squirrel. Yeah, goodbye, little bat. Nice, I got the wolf. Wolf demands to sacrifice, yes. Right, kill that. Alright, let's take, uh, this was another wolf, wasn't it? So let's take another squirrel. Oh, we can't play nothing. Alright, let's just end the battle, I guess. You prevailed and tracked onwards past the now bloody terrain. What is this? Get a card? Right, another one. The young wolf cup that grows to a wolf after a single turn. Oh, this this was the card he used. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, a feeble flying creature. Okay, so an, a flying or evolving one. I think evolving one, because wolf costs two blood, but wolf cup is cheaper and I think it, it can, can still attack before it evolves, so I guess it's more useful. Right. 
what is this? Stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that would be lost forever? Oh no! I just got the wolf cup. Should I just sacrifice the other then? Because it's too blood anyway? Yeah, maybe we should do that. Click this one. You look upon your menagerie and select a healthy host. What are they going to do with these cards? Pick me, said the stoic. But I kind of want to create the wolf cup though. Should I follow what he said? Let's follow what he said. Right. Sacrifice. <laughs> what an honor. Whoa. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the adder now lives in the stoat. Wait, so the stoat now can kill us instantly? Like the adder did? It's cheaper too, it's like one, one blood. Whoa, what is this? What is that? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with an airborne feature. So, this wolf can fly? I'm guessing so. Yeah, this wolf can fly. Oh no. Coyote, alright. So, yeah, they're basically the same, right? 2 1 and 2 1. Alright. Let's summon the wolf cup then, because it will evolve next turn anyway, right? The totem has landed my coyote the power of flight. Whoa, 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 that hurts so much. I think I might need a squirrel here, because if my wolf can kill the coyote, the bat will still kill me, right? How can I see the... Right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, so we got two left. <clears throat> Right, so I need a squirrel. Let's take one of these. Right. Bam! Double wolf. Let's go! Oh, another wolf cup. That's not good. Right, let's take a squirrel. Whoa! You're too damage away from winning. No, I wanted my stoat, but oh well. I think we win this one, right? Let's go. Whoa, what is that? Is that like extra, extra damage or something? Impressive, you may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Ah, another card select. Whoa, the path branches. Guess we'll have to choose later. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Sparrow. The watchful bullfrog. It lives in the way of attacking flyers. Alright, I have a lot of two blood already because the wolves and the river sniper kind of clog the deck. So I was wondering if maybe I, I could... Maybe the sparrow. But the bullfrog is very useful too because you can defend like, like, like the battle previously. You can defend the coyote from attacking. Right, the card, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the air boost. What is this though? It's like a C sniper in a C, maybe? What is the elk do? Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Okay, so after attacking, it moves right. I don't think that's very useful though. But it, it has 4 health, so I guess it's can block a lot of attacks, I, I'm thinking. Let's take a bullfrog. Okay, so we can combine a card, or, I don't know, cook, cook the bullfrog maybe, <laughs> for dinner, yeah, let's do that. Whoa, we came across a small group of survivors, faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. 
You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Okay. <laughs> this is very suspicious. I'm guessing they'll eat my car, right? This is a trick. See, even the stove isn't sure about this. Hmm. Tank power, huh? I'm fine with losing the river sniper, so I guess I should upgrade that. Because it's like two blah but it has one attack, so it's it's not really worth it. Maybe if they eat the river sniper, it's fine. Right, let's do that. It's gonna kill it, isn't it? The fire one, the poor server sniper, enhancing its, its power. Wait, so it does upgrade it. One of the survivors reached the word. Ah, I knew it. It's gonna take my card, isn't it? Another gnash their teeth. Without word, you pulled the river sniper away from the fire and left. What? So I get, I get the upgrade, right? Okay. Another bell. Well, what is that? A grizzly? Four six. Okay, I need to defend that as soon as possible. Wait, I need my stone. I need my stone. Four. What? Well, I'm gonna die. Whoa. Let's summon the bullfrog and defend the defend the sparrow. Another grizzly. What is this? Right, okay, I got my stone. See that, right? Uh huh. No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Wait, so. So he knows that the card stopped anyway? But he doesn't stop it? Right. Okay, I'm gonna take another squirrel because I need to kill this grizzly. Back on the board. Let's go. Oh no, not a grizzly. How am I gonna defend this? I think I'm dead, guys. Wait, let me let me try this. Oh, he said something there. Right. I think there's a chance. Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna die. I, I don't think we can win this. Look, another grizzly? I don't think we can win that one. We've lost. Can you actually beat that one? I'm not sure, because it's like, it's summoning grizzly upon grizzly upon grizzly, so I'm, I don't think you can win that one. Using this as a learning opportunity? May be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. What? Get up from the table. Wait. Fetch me the candlestick from the top of the barrel beside the door. Wait, we can stand? What? Whoa. Okay, this is kind of weird. Oh. Clock? Oh, okay. What? Is this like a puzzle? That's the table, right? The table we were playing on? Oh, look, okay. Can oh, uh, oh, alright. I mean, sure. A wolf inside a cage. Oh, look! Smoke's like being sucked up there. This one, right? I'm, I'm sure we're, we're, we're supposed to take this one, because the, look. The cursor turned into a hand, so I'm sure we need to take this one, but I kinda wanna look around first. A blade and uh, an anti slot, right? What is this? A bird, a safe. Right, I, I don't know the combination, so I mean, I just can brute force this, but uh, I don't have enough time for that. Right, let's take the candlestick. Can we open this door? Can. Okay. Look, lights are flashing from behind it. Can take off the candle, maybe? No? Bring it here. Right, okay. Now sit back down. Alright. 
Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. Okay, so that's my life. I have one left. If you make another, another I must sacrifice you, alright? Now, where were we? Okay, another upgrade. But it's like risk, yeah, I'm thinking. Or... Uh, a rucksack, because I, I think I used two of my items, so I, I can get two more. Because I'm guessing this is a box, right? The last one? The last style, that's a box, right? So... Let's get items that can help us in the battle. Ordinary porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Right? So... Once a card bearing decision is struck, the striker then dealt a single damage point. Okay, so it's sharp. Right. The Conniving Raven. Blight upon disguise. Whoa! To attack 3 health? Oh, but it's too blood though. It's kinda expensive. Ordinary Bullfrog. I think I'm gonna take this, this the porcupine, because it's cheap. Like, I like cheap decks, like I can just take a squirrel and summon And then just have it to wait to summon the raven maybe? Yeah, let's do that If you deem it necessary, make cut up one of my cards with these Wait, so you can cut the cards A powerful item, turn this and I'll skip my next turn A rock may get you out of a hard place Nice joke right there right. Choose one, okay uh, I can cut. I mean, cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. Okay. To the user, your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Okay, so he skips his next turn, or I can cut one of his cards, or I can just like summon a boulder, I suppose. A boulder could be handy, but but I'm thinking cutting his cards would be good, cause like if he sounds a grizzly, I can just cut it, cut it right up, you know. Yeah, let's take the. the oh, another one. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Right. I, I don't know what this is yet. You will place a weight on the scales, the pain is temporary. Pliers, so... Plucking something? The pain is temporary. What is this? Harpy's bird leg fan. To the user, your creatures will attack as though they have the airborne skill in this turn. Okay, so using that will, will make them fly for one turn? Right. That might be useful, but I think it's very conditional as a use, so I, I'm just gonna take a square. Feeling overburdened enough with the full tree items you carried on. Right, here we go, a boss battle. Whoa. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobble figure stood in your path. Eehaw! Twas the prospector. Prospect the prospector? Right. Okay, so he's a gold miner, I suppose. Easy boss, the meal's key. Meals key. Okay, I, I got the I got the the stone already, so I can I can kill anything. That's like very thick in health, I guess. Right. Coyote, pack mule. At the end of the owner's turn, a card being the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. It has 5 health. So I'm guessing it's like a blocker, right? So let's kill that first. So it can very, very be annoying later on. So it's going to summon that on the left. This spot, you sure? I'm sure, don't worry, you'll be fine. Right, okay, let's enter. Ouch. Oh wait, what happened to the mule then? It, it changed its sigil? Oh, it can't move because of the coyote, so... Right, so it, it, it tried to move to the left, but it's like there's no board on the left, so it can't move either. But it's stuck there. Okay, I can kill, I can kill the pack mule, but it's like... Carrying me something like, see, on the outline here? Like, right. Coyote, wolf cup, okay. The boulder can hold the wolf cup for now, so I'm just gonna focus on killing the coyote. So I'm just gonna collect the squirrel first. Whoa! Right, the mule's key, so we got we got cards. Dag nabbit a mule. Got your mule, baby. Right. 
Okay, so I have Squirtle, so he's gonna take the left one, right? Wolf Cup, okay. Let's kill the coyote and see the wolf cup. Let's end turn for now, because uh, I think if I, if I summon it first, it will attack and and it and my car will die, right? If I put a spiral or uh, a wolf there, it will die. So let's just end turn for now. Right. Whoa. Just keep summoning. I'm gonna lose. I think I might have to cut his coyote because I can't summon the wolf, I don't have enough space. Right, okay. No! I stole! Right, let's take another squirrel. Okay, let's summon the wolf. Right here. Oh, I don't have enough. Right, let's just enter for now. Oh no, another one. Right, okay, it's, it's still balanced for now. I think I have, yeah, I have another wolf. Let's, let's summon the other wolf. So I have, I have three wolves, right, right. Okay, we got him. Wait, he has two lives too, oh no. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Yeah, I mean, it's a boss battle, so I guess there's gold in them cards. What do you mean gold? No! Wait, is it, is it gonna... He killed all my wolves! No! G -g gold! I've struck gold, he said! Well, I lost my cards! No! Oh, I, 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 I drew a squirrel by its stick, right. Okay. A bloodhound, what is that? What is that? Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposed opposite to an empty space, this a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Right, so let's summon the river sniper then because it has six health. Oh it moves, right, right, okay. Let's put the river sniper here then. Oh no, not adder. Right. Let's kill the other with the bullfrog, so let's draw a squirrel. Okay, I have two bullfrogs, right. So let's kill that adder. So these cards that, that were added from the, the mule will be mine, right? I'm guessing so, anyway. Nice. Let's kill this frog specter and beat him. Whoa, look at that! It's like animated to be flying, that's cool. Oh, see, what what is that? Like the bowl with like something going in? I don't know what that is yet. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet, right? You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Thank you. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Hoorah! You lie? Or are you lie? Or are you lie? Or are you lie? Or are you lie? Seven attack? Seven health? But it costs four though. Looks like a yeti for me. Right. Let's see the other choices. An uninspiring gag. Perhaps you can find a use for it? A 1-1 one, one gag? Oh, but it's free! It's like a squirrel, but it can attack. Alright, that's cool. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but you have the heart to try. Child 13. <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, it, it's, it, it got the many life seal though, so... I guess I could try. Because uh, I, I, ch I chose the adder instead of the cat before, so... I think I think we'll try it. We'll try this, this many life sigil. Yeah, it's like the cat, it's a, it has zero attack too, so yeah, it's like... So you sacrifice him, like you can't, can't attack with him, but it's like an investment, so you can sacrifice infinite times, right? I'm guessing so anyway. 
Oh, but the, but the Uro Yuli, come on. It's like seven. Ah, oh, but it's four. But I, I can't afford it. Let's go for Chao Chao Oh, the map ends though. With sound of prospectors, pickaxe still ringing in your ears, carry it onwards. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the human air. Look at this, it's like the, the woodlands, but still, it's like a little bit bluer, and there's like plants, like different plants over here. Every step forward was, a was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands, so it's like a swamp. I'm guessing. Right. The stalwart sniper, a near impenetrable defense. Okay. Uh, useless card. What is this? This is like I have one in, in my in my deck, maybe. Like it tells you if you have it already in your deck or not. The fervent mantis. It it's prime claws strike both left and right. Wait, so it attacks, it attacks twice? Bifurcated strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and the right of the space across from it. So it doesn't attack like straight forward, it says like go left and right. Alright. What's the last one? Cat. Okay, I have the child 13, so I don't need the cat. And the river sniper sucks because it's it's basically just a tank but very expensive. So let's just take the mantis. Okay, we have two items, I guess, right? This, oh, okay. Yeah, we have the square ball and pliers, which I haven't used yet. So, yeah, let's let's go to the left. Let's combine a card. Whoa! Wait, can you combine this sigil like like to another card? But it's, it's like like special card though. It's like a, a rare maybe, different rarity. I mean, I got this from boss, so I don't want to sacrifice that. Let's just sacrifice another card. I'm guessing we combine the mantis like the wolf cup maybe, or maybe the wolf cup to the mantis. Yeah, let's try that. Wolf cup to the mantis. So it can evolve, right? The mantis can evolve, right? Let's do that. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's go! The match can now evolve. Right, I'm gonna another beat you in another bell. Let's go. Okay, wait, look, look, look. So if I put the mantis here, it can attack left and right, so it doesn't even have to destroy the stump anyway. Kingfisher. Airborne. Right, okay, it's flying. What is this? Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So, wait, so I can attack it? Like it, it sinks or I don't know dives while I wait, while it's my turn. I'm guessing so. Right. Okay. I'm gonna invest on the child 13 first. Okay. Oh, it has no health though. Yeah. Okay. Let's just put it behind the tree. Child 13 can't do nothing. Right. Whoa, okay. I have the porcupine and the bullfrog. Let's take a squirrel. Okay, let's try this shot 13 thing. Many lives. When a card bearing sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Alright, let's try this. Whoa! Whoa! It evolves, look! It's like a Charizard. It's not like flying and... Oh, okay. Let's put it here because it can defend flying. The bullfrog. It has two attack and one health, but it's flying and still infinite health. Whoa, that's cool. I mean, infinite sacrifice. Yo, okay, okay. So I'm guessing the rare cards have special abilities, right? Okay. Right. Let's summon a. Uh, oh, wait, I don't need. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, I misplaced. I, I placed the squirrel instead of the porcupine. Oh, no, wait. Now I have to. Oh, okay. I can... Right, I can't, I can't put it anywhere, so I have to sacrifice the squirrel because it's, it doesn't disappear because it's, it's many lives, right? Okay, let's do with this. Oh, that hurts! Yeah, you're dead. I win. Right, let's take another one. Oh, wolf! Okay, let's sacrifice then. Let's do um, this and this. Oh no! 
Oh no, it, it lost its, its... It's back to, I don't know, sleeping mode? No! Right, okay. But we, but we have the wolf now, so it's fine. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. Okay, so it's, it's, it's I think it's explaining about the bowl. About the bowl thing, right? This one, this thing. Wait, are those? I think those are teeth. I had my teeth plucked out so uh, before, so I I think those are teeth. Golden ones? However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth for... Yeah, see, it's, it's teeth. A tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may, in may be interested in your spoils. Huh. Wait, what? I don't get it. 